after 11 months of training and tons of chest workouts and not to mention the tons of mistakes that I've done when it comes to chest. So in this video I'm going to be giving you three tips which I've learned when it comes to chest. Let's get started. Now tip number one, proper activation. Now the thing with chest that most guys find themselves overcompensating with the shoulders and the triceps when it comes to bench press or any type of press. Now the thing is, what I want you to do is to, before your workout, go to the cable fly section or just the dumbbell fly. Do first 10 to 20 reps of the flies in order to get that proper activation of the chest muscle for easier mind muscle connections when it comes to the actual bench press. Now, don't get me wrong. I was actually doing this for the first months of training when I was going to the gym. Then somehow <clears throat> I went back on it. Now, I don't know why, was it, was it because of time or what? But the moment I stopped doing proper activation of the chest, the moment I went to the incline bench or the incline smith, I just found myself just moving the weight up, but I wasn't really feeling my chest being pumped up or any activation in my chest. I just feeling, okay, the weight is moving up. Okay, it's moving up, it's moving one, two, three. But I wasn't really feeling the activation in my chest. But the moment I was doing the chest flies, making all that blood pump up in my, in my chest, then going into the Smith machine, I was actually feeling the tension right here in the muscle. And that just made me feel more mind-muscle connection with the chest. Now with that, I do recommend that you do some proper activation of the chest before going into the actual heavy compound of the chest. And I hope that made sense. Bro, finish up the recording so I can get yeah, this yeah, lift. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. Point number two, now when it comes to building chest in the gym, everyone runs to the bench press. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the bench press. But if you want to build a, a full round chest, also learn to focus on the incline. Like the incline switch machine, the incline bench, it puts more emphasis on the, on the upper chest. And also the whole chest is being worked, but puts more emphasis on the upper chest when you're doing upper, when you're doing the incline bench press. Focus on the upper chest and on the incline smith machine, dumbbell or any other machine and yeah. Workout complete, chest day felt amazing. After a while, ah, it was much needed. I just can't wait for the soreness tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow the soreness will be so immaculate. But still, chest day felt amazing. The bench press, the incline bench press felt good. Chest felt pump. I actually felt stronger because I've been bulking for this whole, whole week and I've gone to the gym for two Two weeks, two weeks now I haven't been eating the weights I'm supposed to be eating. But all in all, how do you guys like my new haircut? Like my, my actual barber isn't around. Went there, I didn't find him. I had to take an alternative, but you guys tell me, how is it? Just look. For me, nine out of 10, I love it. So yeah, let me go to home, carb up, protein up, rest up and edit this video but still don't go away because i have one one point left for the chest so if you want that one point stay if you mean this part of the video and you're actually enjoying it subscribe like share to the people who also want to enjoy the, the video and also learn about the video 
and uh, yeah, it actually helps a lot the channel. So yeah, what what, what you doing if you're still till here and not eventually like or subscribe? Yeah, come on. <laughs> So now the third tip is DUP, and that is daily undulating periodization. That word is actually hard for me to say as fast as I can. But yeah, that's the third tip. What do I mean by that? If you want to build a bigger chest and more muscles into your frame generally, I recommend that you use this technique. And this technique goes by, so let's say this week you're going to the gym and you're going to hit chest in the proper way. So this week you're going to do three sets of eight for the two sessions that you have or three or one session that you have of chest. Then the next week, you're going to do five sets of five. But generally here, what I'm talking about is increasing the weight. For the five sets of five, that of course, the weight will be much more higher and it'll be much more heavier. And with time, that will actually build the strength. And as you build strength, you're also going to be moving heavier weights, which will also incur in the muscle development because they have to adapt to the heavier weights that you're going through. So now with this type of intensity and this type of volume, you're actually working smart and actually getting stronger in the gym. And also the chest will have to adapt so that you can manage the weight that you're lifting. And now those are the three tips which I have for you which will actually help you build a bigger chest and a more round, sexier chest, which every guy wants. And with that, if you made it to the end of this video, as always, I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, what's up, bro? Subscribe, like, because it actually helps a lot in this channel. And uh, see you in the next video. And if I don't, I'll be mad, bro.